Hello everyone, this is Leo from the Monkeys Making Misplaced channel. Today I'm going to be profiling my Michu deck profile. Um, this is the first glitter deck I'm going to be showing, but uh, once we receive our case of set 11 that is going to be releasing in September, uh, which we have already ordered, we're almost done paying it, so we should be we should be good by August. Um, I'll, I'll, we will be doing another cycle of these... Uh, uh, I've, I've been calling it behind the scenes uh, budget versus balling because it seems like every every matchup we've done so far is a, a very competitive deck versus a, a little bit weaker tier deck. Um, and we'll be doing another cycle of those once we get the glitter decks. I'll be upgrading all the glitter decks. I do own all of them. Um, so I'll be upgrading them. Unfortunately, Michu doesn't get any support in that set. So I decided to just show her off here since she is a very strong deck in my opinion. She's very good. Um, and Cap will be showing off of, of uh, Silhouette. Uh, he was showing um, uh, Vermilion, Ezel, uh, the uh, Platypus Dragon, the uh, Misty Arc archetype. And then I think, uh, I don't remember what the Dark States will... Oh, the, uh, Greedon. He'll be playing Greedon Mask as the, the adversary. So we'll be doing a, a gameplay of those, uh, of those decks. But uh, to start the profile here, the ride line is the generic ride line. Um, nothing. There's no real. There's no real way to change this. I do have a copy of the grade one, alt art, and then the grade three alt art. I will change these in the future. I just haven't been able to get them. So ride line, very generic, very good. And then let's talk about Michu herself or uh, Sakura, which is this uh, VTuber. I've never actually seen these. As far as VTubers go, I'm um, pretty much uh, only a fan of like Iron Mouse because I like Sea Dog and she's on there and she's cool. Uh, so I don't know who uh, Sakura is, but I love the art, so I just use it. Uh, so Michu uh, has the ability to, if you have all set up in your order zone, which we'll get into later, you can counterblast one to draw a card and then choose a card from your hand and call it to rear or discard it. Then she has something called Cannonball, which says when she attacks a Vanguard, you can Soul Blast to choose one of your opponent's regards to kill it, and then you give uh, she gets plus five until end of that battle. That ability is a, is not very important, but if you are playing against a a deck that has like a specific re, rear guard they require, that sometimes that ability can come in handy. But usually we do change that into a different Cannonball ability, which is where I think her support is going to be because that's kind of what it's based on. Um, but currently we just have one other cannonball ability she can gain access to. So ride line is pretty much generic. Then we're going to go into grade threes. Uh, I don't have the full play set of the Sakura. So here's the regular art for Michu. Um, three copies because, you know, you want a persona right in the stack. You really want to put as much power as you can on the board. I don't play chalice simply because we play a lot of set orders. And we want to be playing uh, at least one every turn. There is ways to play more than a single copy of these per turn. But uh, you always want to have one of these. And this is the cannonball order I was talking about. This uh, this is called the flower cannonball. To play this, you have to counterblast one. And then when it gets put into the order zone, you draw a card. And then in the order zone, if you have a grade 3 vanguard with Mitra in its card name, you can put it into drop from order. This is a set order. And it changes the cannonball abilities on Michu to when this unit attacks, Soul Blast to choose three of your units and they get plus 10. It is a very good because you get uh, an essentially 30k boost to your board, right? And you're allowed to put them wherever. And you'll, we'll talk more about where you distribute your power at the end of the video, but this is a very good card. There is ways to cheat it out and we'll get to that just in a moment. And then for grade twos, we have four copies of Remory. She uh, is very good. She says that whenever she attacks a grade 3 or greater unit, if the order zone has all set up, she gets plus 5. And then when it, it hits, you can Soul Blast 1 to put a Cannonball from your drop and into your order zone. That's one of the ways I was telling you that you can put extra or play more than one of these a turn. And since the draw effect is just from being put on there, not being played, or you know the being played normally, you can get uh, a lot of draws off of the... Uh, the order being played multiple times so she's just a good card because it's on hit pressure that will just constantly be there then we play uh ronovia 
I play her at 3. She is just a 13k body or a 10k intercept. As long as you have all set up, which we'll, you will see is almost guaranteed in this deck. She's just a good card, makes makes guarding a little easier on you. Three copies. Sometimes you play her as a unit, sometimes you just keep her to guard unknowing numbers, right? Sometimes you need 10k, this is perfect. Um, and then this is one of my techs, it's uh, Unity. She allows you for a counter blast to bounce a card from your set order zone. Uh, yeah, choose a card from your order zone and put it into your hand. So I it, it would have bounced the flower cannonball and then play it normally or play it with uh, pitch it to play it with Remory or as you will see right now play it with the card that we've uh, every card has been discussing all set up. I play two copies of this. Uh, because the ride line gives you access to it. The grade one's uh, ability allows you to just get it from deck and put it into order zone. It's guaranteed. Why do I play more than one if if you only really need the one? Well, that's simple. That's because all setup says, hey, if your Vanguard is Michu or has Michu in its card name, you can rest it, soul charge one, and you can put a cannonball from your hand and get it into the order zone. Which means that if you have more than one and you have many of these right you can rest soul charge put this draw card and then you can activate another one rest soul charge put this draw card so the other one is just there in case if you get it it's cool but if you don't you can always just pitch it and uh, not feel so bad it also gives you more targets for some of these other cards and here we have uh, Nokwo. she is the supporting unit for Michu as you, as if you don't know, uh, pretty much every glitter boss unit has a supporting uh, unit. Uh, usually, they're dual nation. Uh, Noko is not; she's just lyrical, um, which is unfortunate because it'd be cool if she could play it in something else, but you are unable to. Uh, but she is sort of like a maple. As to why these are different, is because I only have one of these, which is the uh, the Suse. Uh, it's another VTuber who's uh, I've never seen, but. I like the art, so I'm, I'm probably going to get the full playset. She is like a, a maple, uh, for th like the Greya. She can come back whenever you put a set order into your order zone for a soul blast, but she can only be called to your back row center. And the reason for that is that specifically if you have Michu, you can, uh, at the end of the battle, your Vanguard attacked. If your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, you can counter blast one pitch and then swap positions with the unit in front of it. So it that can be a little confusing. Um, because it it just makes it seem like it's another attack. But the way it works is uh let's say you have this, right? You will counter blast one pitch, let's say they, they've just attacked, and what happens is these swap positions, but the cards in the soul stay there. Right? And then this gets to restand and it gets to swing, but now since it's it, it's it's the Vanguard, it gets a drive check. Um, it's it's confusing the way it works, I'm going to be honest with you. When I first started playing this deck, I was playing it very incorrectly. Uh, but uh, it was nice to like un see that the, that was a thing that you could do. It's very good because it gives you an extra attack, and it has a drive check, so it allows you to... Um, put pressure on there and since you can use the cannonball ability for Michu to give the power to the to her which is the booster she'll king she'll keep that power when she moves to vanguard all right let's continue with that uh, deck profile i got a little off track there then we have four copies of shutter chance you'll say you'll say she allows you whenever she the the attack she she boosted hits if your order zone has all set up, you can look at top five, choose up to one card with glitter or a set order and add it to your hand. And if you add a card, you put her on the bottom of the deck. This has so many targets. It has no quo, it has all set up, it has the cannonball, and it can get you persona ride. Right? This can hit so many things. If they give us more set orders for her, specifically in the future, she'll have even more targets. But currently... Uh, she has four targets in deck already, of which we play essentially as many as we can. We play four Cannonball, three Michu, four Noko, only two all set up, but if you can get a second one off of her, that'll be incredible. So, 
a very good grade one that just wants to be there. And then obviously we have the auto include of four PGs. I don't have a place out of the good one uh, because these uh, last couple of videos have been rushed, unfortunately. So we weren't able to get the decks as tuned as we wanted to. Uh, since I am going on vacation uh, at, at the moment of recording, I am going to be taking off in a couple hours. So I have to get all of these done and recorded and uploaded and edited since I do that all on my own. Um, I'm trying to do it. Uh, this video will be the the uh, will be uploaded the last week of my vacation, so it'll be on the Monday. Uh, we're going to Niagara Falls. If anyone's interested, we've we've uh, my family uh, finally has the ability to travel, and we're we're taking it. We love going to places like this, so we're going to go up there and check it out. Um, let's go to triggers. We have obligatory OT. Can't really do much. This might get changed with the festival collection. Uh, one, I will say that these were all recorded pre-Festival Collection, so if you're like, oh, this card is pretty good, why didn't you play it? Uh, we, uh, I think we've explained in a video prior, uh, have a really hard time getting product where we are, so we rely on ordering stuff, and uh, it's really inconsistent for us to get stuff. So uh, we were having a hard time getting stuff in time, and since I had to leave, uh, my vacation kind of got pushed up. I thought it was going to be... In the middle of August, and it's in the middle of July, so we are um, we are Russian. So unfortunately, we don't have any festival collection stuff on us. I know Cat would have uh, played a, the Grade Three OT user from the festival collection in his deck, and I would have probably played the uh, the multi attack one, the generic one as well. And then we have four draw triggers. I don't have the effect triggers because again, we haven't had the chance to get those all properly uh, worked on. But uh, the deck wants to draw, you give it more draws. This helps you find the combo pieces. And then we play a total of seven crits. If you want to switch to eight crit, you could always take out a draw and put an extra crit in there. But uh, this deck wants to put pressure, crits put pressure. And then we have the four heals. Uh, again, we don't didn't get to work on these as much as we wanted to. Uh, we usually like taking a little bit more time. If you notice the Java one, that Java deck I've been working on for a long time, it's one of my favorite decks to play. But we weren't able to do these with these, and we still wanted to keep our word of the schedule, which, you know, I I had made that schedule before knowing that we were going on vacation so soon. But I wanted to keep my word, and I wanted to put all these videos up, so I am uploading uh, about eight videos today. Um, they're going to be releasing individually i think after this you'll be seeing the luticia deck and then the luticia gameplay so hopefully you enjoy that i've tried to do voiceovers i think for granfia uh the bruce versus chrono jet and then the um the luticia versus michu deck so if you enjoy that we can switch to that i know some people enjoy it maybe i can bring cat and we can both record at the same time it would uh give a little dynamic to so like the thought process of the players in that moment but uh, that has been Leo, so hopefully you enjoyed. This is Leo from the Monkeys Making This Place channels. I'll see you in the next one.